in this question it is given that the train passes an electric pole standing on the platform in 14 seconds that means the time required uh, this 14 seconds is basically for the entire length of the train to pass the pole the length of the pole or the width of the pole is insignificant it's the length of the train that matters here okay so 14 seconds is basically the time required for the entire length of the train to pass a single point now if it passes the entire platform in 56 seconds it is given and the length of the platform is 420 meters then we are supposed to find the length of the train now <clears throat> when the train passes the platform what happens is basically the length of the platform as well as the length of the train is crossed is covered in the time of 56 seconds right now the train's length itself takes about 14 seconds that means the remaining 42 seconds will be the time required to cross the platform correct <clears throat> 56 minus 14 gives us 42 seconds which will be the time required to cross only the length of the platform now if 420 uh, sorry 42 seconds is the time required to cover a length of 420 meters then 14 seconds that is the time required uh, to cover the length of the train will cover how much distance will be exactly 140 meters okay it is 10 times 42 10 times is 420 so 14 10 times will be 140 meters this will be the length of uh, the train okay so this is the logic required to be applied in this question